Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Gunpoint episode 3, aka the episode that took way too freaking long to record. We're getting pretty close to the end of the game here, here's the mission list. Uh, I expect to finish the game in this episode. Don't know if that'll happen, but it probably will. Uh, you can see we're getting pretty close uh, in terms of our shop here. And also the upgrades we can buy. Um, I never tend to upgrade power capacity because I don't use things with power that much. Uh, and then you can see we're maxed for jumping. So this episode I expect us to get the resolver and also the gate crashers. You'll see why I expect us to get this even though it's so expensive. Oh, and also, last episode I forgot to introduce a, a uh, an enemy type uh, called the enforcer. Uh, let me show you guys. So basically... This is the enemy type I forgot to introduce, uh, an enforcer. Basically, you can't really kill these guys. Can't be pinned down, it says, uh, at the bottom there. But a strong jump will stagger him. Once you get the gun, uh, which I showed you guys, uh, I think you can shoot these guys down, but you can't jump on them and start punching like you would a normal person. So that's why uh, the few ways you have to kill these guys are by doing this, where you drop him down and he just kind of dies. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to play the, the mission. I just want to show you guys that guy that I forgot to introduce. Um, the plot up to this point is kind of convoluted <laughs> because it's a murder case, so why wouldn't it be? Basically, we're enemies with Gessler at this point. We're working for Rook. Uh, the police almost know who we are. He knows that we were on the scene. He just doesn't know that it's me that he's talking to. Uh, so let's go and do <laughs> break into his own HQ. Okay, so basically Selena's post-mortem was altered after Katie was arrested. Uh, so that might be his men working against him or something. So basically, we have to break into his own HQ, get to the coroner's computer, and find an autosave of Selena's post-mortem to make sure that his guys aren't working against him. <laughs> Can't you, police chief of the actual police, get this police thing from the police? Okay. He was shot six times. Okay, so never mind. Point taken. Let's start the mission. Uh, Alright, so basically this is the police HQ. Uh, we have to do some pretty serious breaking in here. What we're going to do is we're going to wait for this guy to come over here and turn around so that way I can crawl up. Okay, so now we're going to hopefully make this really well executed jump and land. There we go. Right, so we're going to turn out the lights, uh, disable his ability to turn them back on. Uh, let him... Oh, he didn't walk through there. Okay. Yeah, you're dead. So let's see, how many other lights can I turn off? Let's turn off these lights. And then this door, I'll have to do something with at some point. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, you probably can, but the emergency alert system just went off in the living room, which is always fun. Uh, let's... Okay, so basically, uh, I just got back to my desk. <laughs> the emergency alert system sounded real, um, but it was just a test, so I went out to see what it was. Right, um, psh, let's see. I think what we have to do is we have to do this, and then, oh yeah, okay, so you turn off the lights. This guy's gonna go and turn the lights back on here, but he's gonna walk through this thing, which opens the door. Um, oh, no, 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 okay, okay. Okay, so basically what happened there was I got hit by a door, and then um, I didn't, I almost didn't get up in time and he almost shot me. I uh, <laughs> love this game. Okay, so basically we're going to turn off the lights. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, these guys have like guns, like their guns become highlighted. And so what I can actually do is uh, wire this to their guns. I'm not going to do it because that drains my power, but you can wire things to their guns and... Uh, you can have them shoot each other. I'll show you that later. I think I get to do it in another mission at some point. Oh, open that. Oh, that was well timed. All right, let's go down another level. Let's see. Oh, this guy's an enforcer. Okay, so um, yeah, basically what we have to do is just kind of ignore him. Oh, you know what? I need the blue circuit that I forgot to grab. Okay, let's go and get that. Um, because what this will allow me to do is uh. When I arrive on this floor, the sound detector will be able to turn the lights off. Alright, so the elevator has arrived. Let's go down. Let's see. Oh, go down our extra floor. There we go. So, oh, I, I got too close to him, and then he shot me. What the hell? Okay, so basically, this guy's just really good at aiming. Uh, but not when you jump on him from the head. Oh, I get it. So basically, what I have to do is... I have to do that, and then I have to... 
do this. Let me figure this out. Do the. Okay, good. Go down. Oh, I went up. Okay, so basically, you go down. Oh, almost get crushed. Okay, then we go through here. Okay, then we. We do that. Flick the switch. Get out of here. I think that's all we had to do. Are there laptops? Are there laptops anywhere? None that I see. Okay. Alright, so we have finished the mission. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got an A. Uh, violence, we couldn't really punch people that much. There was a laptop. Okay, so I'm just blind. Uh, we got an upgrade point. Not that it will really do us any well, because I don't really upgrade the power, and that's the only thing we have left to upgrade. Did you find... Fresh from the recycle bin. Superb. She was shot three times, not one, and the second two shots were point blank range, seconds after she hit the ground. Whoever killed Selena Delgado dropped out of a third story window to make sure she was dead. We're either dealing with a professional or more than one shooter. Basically, this proves Katie was innocent. Can we release it? Not yet. So basically, if he releases it now, he's probably going to get killed by his own people. Okay, so. <laughs> This is where the game gets really screwed up, because what that obituary does is it proves that the person who killed Selena Delgado has really good equipment to be able to drop out of a third story window. And with what happened last episode proving me as the person who killed Selena Delgado but the police don't know it yet, they have my apartment on file. And so we're going to search my apartment for stuff that will basically prove me guilty, uh, which is not going to go well I think. So the postmortem we retrieved shows that Selena was shot again the same weapon right after hitting the ground. Can't fault him for- he threw himself out of a third story window. That means he had tech but I'm guessing a drop shot trench coat which is what I have. That's what I have. Great. That's that's really gonna help me. I want you to check it out look for any evidence. I have to go now. Okay so basically what I'm doing now is I'm incriminating myself so I don't know if you guys can see me. There I am. I'm kind of hidden right there. Uh. Psh yeah, close that door. That'll prevent that guy from seeing us. Uh, and then turn those lights off. Alright, that works pretty well. Oh, guy almost saw us. Uh, okay, so how do I get into my apartment from here? So you see, this is basically the start of the game we're looking at right here. This is my apartment that I got thrown out of. You can see nice attention to detail. The window is in there because it broke. Uh, and this was the building where Selena was murdered if you remember from the start of the game. This is where I have to search. Uh, you can see my objective right there. Basically, that's what's going to incriminate me. Uh, so let's... Oh, I died. Nice. Oh, he stopped there. That's really not good. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is wire his gun up to something else. Okay, so we're gonna wire his gun up to, I don't know, the light, I guess, uh, which drains all of my power. Okay, well, so basically when he tries to shoot me, he's going to turn the lights off instead by accident and then oh okay that guy is looking at us so we can't go up this way um this is tricky uh what we might be able to do is go up onto the roof oh pff. good job all right so we can go up here jump over his field of view right there and complete the mission so yeah we got a c on that one. Oh, that sucks oh we didn't get the laptop that's the reason so what we can do here is we can lie to the chief of police and say that the place was good or clean which wouldn't incriminate me or we can tell the truth i kind of want to lie because i don't think i've lied to him before so let's lie might be a dummy address i can't find any records well, all right then i've got something big literally the only mission to do okay, so a source i trust has tipped me off to a recording of everything that happened in Rook's office. I need you to break into a data sec facility and get that recording from me. Why do you believe them? I can't tell you that yet. Who's the source? I can't tell you that yet. Where was the second camera? I can't tell you that yet. Thanks for the information, you've been a big help. All right, so <laughs> this game is amazing. Uh, so pretty obvious way to get in here. Uh, have him walk through here, and then let's just kind of pounce on him. Oh, that's not good. What, I went through the window? Is that not glass? That's glass. How did I go through that? Okay, well, that was a really skilled way of killing that guy just now. D 
do it, and then do it. Okay, so that gives me access to all this. Uh, so I have to go here, that'll open up this. Okay. Which allows me to get in here. Hack this. Let's go down. Uh, let's wire this up to this. Which means we have to go back up, make some noise to open that door. We can unwire that now. Actually wire that to that, so we, when we go back up there, it uh, opens a thing for us. Get the laptop. I've not, I don't know if you guys have noticed, you probably have. I've not been reading any of these. I've never really read any of the laptops. I'm not smart enough to follow this freaking game's story. Well, I, I am a little bit. I know some of the game's story, but I don't know, it's just convoluted. <sighs> that laptop was pointless because we didn't need it for our rating, but I don't know. We still got an A. Now I have everything I need for what? The file on that terminal is random garbage. I put it there myself. I just need to get you on the camera so I can compare it to the footage from the break-in at that data sec. The movement signatures are a match. You killed Selena Delgado. Sure, okay, why not? I don't know why you did it, but I'm not going to stop until I have something I can use in court. I hope you have a good lawyer. Shouldn't you hope I have a bad one? <laughs> Yeah, and he's disconnected. So basically, there's an achievement you can get called Hammerhead Snark, which is mock the chief of police at a critical moment. I don't know how I didn't get it just then, because um, I kind of mo mocked him at a really critical time, but whatever. So Rook is now talking to us again. Um, $275 is kind of poultry at this point in the game, but let's see. I have the recording you've been looking for. It's a phone call in which Jackson threatens to go Selena. It would be enough to get Katie Collins released and my husband arrested. Awesome. <laughs> I don't really know what that second option does. I can't give it to the police. I didn't obtain it legally, so it's inadmissible. That's why I need you. I want you to copy it onto the police servers and leave a security hole for the press to find it there. Does that actually work? <laughs> I don't know. Great. The East Point police would probably rather claim they're seeing on vital evidence than admit they don't know how it got there. You're okay with getting your husband arrested? Well, he's gone dark, so he can take the fallout. Have you told Collins? She has trouble coping with the guilt if I bring her a coffee. I want her to know I'm risking my career for her. What does the evidence say? If you say one word about this anywhere, you'll be dead before you leave the building. That's not a good thing to say the night someone's killed. The terminal you need to plan it on is the first floor of the evidence warehouse on Union. And then she'll tip off a journalist. Sounds good. Uh, start the mission. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow. Okay, there's a giant wall here for no reason. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, so it looks like the only way to really get in is back here unless i want to go up here but that's kind of dangerous because we have an alarm we can't touch yet so let's open the door turn the lights off open this door that basically clears that floor for us none of those guys are professionals which means we're good what 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 just happened oh okay 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 how did he oh he switched it i forgot to unwire that Okay, so let's restart the mission. <laughs> I'm great at PC games. Oh, damn it. Okay, so what I've done is I've, um... That guy has... It took him three shots. Alright, so attempt number three. Let's, uh... Okay, let's do this right this time. So we do that, we do that, do that, do this, and... There we go. Okay. So now there's no way he can kill me. Just freaking murder this guy. I don't care if I get a C. You can stop now, thanks game. Uh, that's probably gonna get me shot if I just lunge at him, because these guys are actually pretty accurate at close range. Let's do that, punch him a few times. So what can I do now? I can go down here, unwire that. Yeah, it's pretty obvious where I have to go now. So basically I unwired the alarm, get the wire jack, which allows me to unwire that alarm, which allows me to kill this guy. And also get the laptop. Oh, that's an enforcer. Okay, so we can't really do anything about him. Um, I don't really know how you're supposed to approach that. Oh, turn the lights off. My help. So now if we go up, um, we really need to look out. Okay. Uh, alarm not unwired. There we go. That could have been bad. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, crap. Um, okay, so he's going to get over here real soon. Okay. Okay, so we run over here, go up through the door, and then we go out. Great. I got an A? Wow, so killing a man was still enough to get me an A. It's Katie. What? 
They found her in her cell. The note she said she didn't want to be a burden. Yeah, so this is why this game is so heavy-handed. Katie has killed herself. Um, the recording you have of me is real, but it's not the whole story. Selena, Selena and I were having an affair. But I told her not to say anything, I was trying to protect her. So now Jackson is talking to us for the first time in ever. So basically, Selena was having an affair uh, with him. So, from whom? <laughs> so you could say from who or from whom? From whom? Uh, Intex. So Intex blackmailed him to steal a lot of money from Rook. So he took it, but he didn't give it to Intex. So he was gonna go away with Selena. Basically, he didn't know that they tapped his phone, and so they killed Selena, and now this whole mess is here. Cut to the chase. I don't know how Rook got a hold of that recording, but I don't know why she edited it. Edited it. That's a hard word. I don't know why she gave it to you. What do you want? The full recording public online approves the one Rook le leaked was doctored, and it proves I didn't kill Selena. So this is the choice that you get to make here. <laughs> it's Rook. Ignore Jackson. <laughs> why? I know who killed Selena. I know exactly where he is now, and I know what will happen if that recording gets out. The killer will vanish forever. The only reason he hasn't disappeared already is that he knows Jackson's going down for it. As soon as their cops start looking for someone else, he's gone. Can't we just get the real killer and then leak the recording? So she wants her money back, but she can't get it back unless he gets arrested. So you want to let an innocent man go down to catch a guilty one. Well, he's not exactly innocent. He was having an affair, which isn't illegal, but but I don't know. Jackson framed Katie Collins for Selena's murder. Point take. Who is it? So you want me to get Jackson convicted? Okay, so the terminal in text that Jackson wants you to upload the recording from, I need you to get to it and wipe it instead. Jackson goes down for Selena's murder, Rook gets her company back, and I can do whatever. I would like to kill the man who killed, what, Selena? So now, <laughs> we get to make a choice. Uh, oh, when did we get the handgun? Oh, I must have bought it. Let's try it out. So this is the handgun. You shoot people. Uh, that sets off alarms, which is not good. Can I wire your gun to his gun? No, I can't. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Alright, okay, so let's... Okay, so... <laughs> I kind of panicked there. Uh, is that wired to an alarm? That is not wired to an alarm. Oh. Oh, that's a sniper. Oh, crap. Um. Yeah, he... What happens is when you fire your gun snipers show up like police snipers uh, so you have to take that into account whenever you use your gun on someone um, so basically I just took too long there and they showed up with the sniper so we can take the Jackson way which is um, make it so that way he's innocent he leaves and I get enough money to take on in many many I get enough money to take on Intex or retire or we can go what I think is the right way to do it I don't really know uh, the Rook way which is to incriminate this man and get enough money to take on Intex and we kill the person who actually killed Selena which I think is the right way so I'll do it this way okay right now what we have to do is uh well to be quite frank I don't know what I haven't played this mission in forever oh we have to get in through here I think okay okay so let's adjust my jump arc to go right through the window and take out this guy I landed r literally right in front of him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so now I've just done it again. Uh, it's, it's seven seconds ago. Okay, let's time this better this time. Yes! I landed on him. That was cool. <laughs> uh, turn the lights off. How do I get down? I have to use my drop shot again? Drop shot? No, not drop shot. Hush cracker. There we go. That's what it's called. Have I, have I been calling it drop shot this whole time? Whoops. Oh, pfft. Oh, this ain't good. Okay, so I alerted that guy. Which you're gen generally not supposed to do. Let's see if he tries... Yeah, he, so he's going to try and turn the light back on. But I unwired the light, so now we can get down here. Turn the lights off here so we can't see. Okay, so that allows me to open the door right here. Or up here. Uh, let's just unwire everything. So what we have to do is we have to sneak past this guy. Like that. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so that's going to open that door, which will allow that professional to shoot us. So I don't think we want to go this way just yet. We may have to do this a different way, which involves going down here, which means opening this door. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, that guy's going to see us now that we're over here. Um, crap. Okay, so I, need, I need a way to close that door, otherwise this mission is going to get really tedious. Go. 
Oh, what? Okay, well, I broke another window on accident. Anyways, let's do that. Uh, let's instead have this open these two doors and then turn off this light. Is this guy professional? No, he's an enforcer, so that works. Oh, that means I have to use my drop shot again. Oh, pff, just walked through a hole. Oh, yeah, I didn't have to go all this way. I'm an idiot. It's right here. So what we get to do now is we get to go over here, get the wire jack, uh, turn off the lights, which isn't really going to make a difference because he's kind of just there watching. Uh, we don't really have to go up there anyways because... Oh, wait, no, we do have to go up there. Damn. <laughs> oh, wait, we can close this door, though, which means we have to go back up there. Yep, swap that door for that one. That allows us to not only turn off the lights, which is going to freak this guy out, but it allows us to open this door down here, which means if we go down there, we can uh, we can have a go at the objective that we're supposed to get. I want to switch the switch in midair. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I can't reach the switch because I destroyed the floor underneath it, so uh, uh, that room that I just opened will allow me to get the, uh, the laptop. So let's go up here, go over here, call the elevator. Let's see. Get our objective. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me there. Get the laptop. To Fritz. Oh, from Fritz to Melanie. <laughs> so this is the first time I've actually read one of these. Uh, so basically, Gessler is just kind of a hothead, uh, and he's really threatening Melanie, uh, which no one really cares about because he's about to die. Uh, how do I get out of here? Yep. There we go. Go up here. There we go. I got an A+. Oh, apparently nothing mattered for that one. You just kind of get an A+. Alright, so now we have $8,000. It's done. You can thank me by telling me who killed Selena Delgado. Selena was killed by an agent codenamed Hightower. Oh gosh, on Gessler's orders. Gessler was blackmailing Jackson to steal from me, but Jackson was planning to run off with Selena and the money. Gessler would have killed them both, but the money was still in Jackson's name, so he took away Jackson's reason of run. I have enough evidence to put Gessler away, but he knows that now. If you don't get him and Hightower tonight, they'll both be gone by the morning. I still have access to Intex's comms network, so I've called Hightower to Intex HQ and told him Gessler wants to meet. I strongly recommend you bring a gun. Thanks, I'm off to commit double homicide. Good luck, Richard. Oh gosh, she knows my name. <laughs> I don't think it was that obvious until now, but the $8,000 is really just to buy this. Uh, come and get me. Alright, so yeah, we've reached the last mission of the game. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and uh, come and get him. Okay, so this is the mission we have to go through. Dear God. Quite frankly, I don't remember everything about it, uh, so we'll see how we deal with this bit. Uh, so yeah, that's that's Hightower. That's the guy we have to kill, and then uh, Gessers, who we also have to kill. So yeah, let's uh, kick down the doors. <sighs> I suck at this game. Oh, I can just go up here. What? What? <laughs> okay, so basically I arrived on the floor and he went down. Uh, I'll take that. Kill that guy with the door. Break that glass with the door. <laughs> okay, so he's back on this floor now. Oh, but he couldn't see me. All right, fair enough. Uh, oh, that alarm spooked him. Good. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, so we can kill that guy using that sound detector. What do we do from here? So basically, I have to get up here somehow. Oh gosh. Okay, so that guy's just been following me around. Let's put him out of his misery. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to. Oh, I unwired it. I'm supposed to get on this floor. Uh, let's not wire that up just yet. Let's get this, and then let's get that, get that. That's a professional, so the lights don't really even matter, but it's just kind of nice having them off. Okay, so I've not been talking. What, I've, what I'm doing here is um, to get to the next floor, we're gonna need the green circuit. Uh, so now we're gonna go up here. What I've created is basically a timing delay because th these doors are timed. I don't know if I ever showed that to you guys. Uh, you, you probably saw in the police HQ mission, but these doors are timed, and so you do have to um, be very careful with your timing. And if they close on you, then you die, uh, which is kind of gruesome. So yeah, what, what I've done is I've created a timing delay. 
uh, that calls this elevator and when that elevator goes I can I can get this get through that door that means I can now wire that to that tell you the truth I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to get this laptop <laughs> I kind of forgot I used to be able to do this mission like kind of fast but I don't know I've forgotten so let's go through this door before it closes okay careful climbing there knock this guy out because he's associated with Intex and we don't sympathize with those guys all right so we're gonna go up here um, that's gonna spook that guy. Oh, dang it, I almost did that right. All right, we're gonna wait for him to come back through here. Give him a nice surprise when he exits that doorway. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to wire this sound detector up to this door, and then we're gonna wire this elevator up to that. Alright, so we're going to go back down because we want to get this laptop because it's the last mission, so you might as well. There we go. We're going to open that switch. <laughs> okay, so that was, that was close. He shot me, but he missed, so that, that works. So what we're going to do, because this is, believe it or not, the quick way to get back to the other side of the building, is we're just going to kind of climb up here. Um, let's see, oh my gosh, all the wiring. Okay, so we don't need any of this wiring anymore, because uh, right now we're about to con confront Gessler and his, his agent Hightower. So, how am I going to do this? So that's obviously going to open the door, and his gun is purple. I'll go ahead and wire that up right now. Basically, what I'm doing right there is Gessler's going to try and shoot me when I open this door. Um, but if I wire his gun up to a switch that does nothing, that his gun won't work. Uh, and then when we confront Hightower up here, you'll see you'll see what makes this mission special. Let me go ahead and get some extra power just in case. There we go. That's that. All right, now for the final floor. Ah, oh, damn it! I know there's a way to dodge that guy. Okay, so now we have about a few seconds to show up at the top floor before the snipers show up, because if you remember what I said, um, snipers show up if you use your gun. And what you end up being able to do is, uh, you end up being able to talk to Gessler. Do not insult the hat, Fritz. Dot 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 dot. You know what? I've seen your record. I know you'll shoot. And yeah, you can kill Gessler. Oh, damn it, the sniper showed up. <laughs> okay. Looks like I don't have time to do the uh, the old Gessler thing. Oh, well. Okay, um... Shut up, Gessler. Go! Okay. <laughs> okay, so we had to make it out before the sniper got us. Uh, we, we weren't paid anything for that. Oh, we got an A+, plus though, so that's nice. I've just remembered I forgot to get the laptop. So yeah, that's that's gunpoint. That's the entire game. This is a 46 minute recording at this point. So yeah, at the end of the game you get to basically compose a blog post because Conway runs a secret blog for no reason. Uh, they don't let me name names. The person behind the hit I was investigating is dead now. He played a dangerous game insulting my hat. I thought it would feel good. It did. I picked, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe all that matters is the, that I now have the ability to kick down doors. Either way, I need to get out of this city. And you can actually click publish, which launches your uh, your browser. Um, which you can publish this to Twitter. I'm not going to. So yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the entire game. I have forty dollars left. Well, uh, th I don't know what to say. This is a uh, this is a fun series. Um, only three episodes at this point. But, uh, yeah, it's a fun game. Old game from 2013. I don't know if I've said that already, but, yeah, if you guys want to play any of this insanity, then pick it up on Steam. It's really not that expensive. I think I got it for $10 a few years ago, like four years ago. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next series, whatever that is. Uh, yeah. Stay awesome, everyone.